Now, before you go, I have to ask you about Prince Harry. He is receiving yet another honour. The Duke of Sussex <laughs> is uh, set to receive the Pat Tillman Award for service at the 2024 ESPYs. Uh, Pat Tillman was a, an American hero, late NFL star and US Army Ranger who died during uh, combat in 2004. Uh, Pat Tillman's mother, Mary, is among those who are shocked by this award being given to Harry. She has said that there are far more deserving candidates uh, who do not have Harry's money and resources, who are working quietly. She also said, I'm shocked as to why they would select such a controversial and divisive individual to receive the award. There are recipients that are far more fitting. There are individuals working in the veteran community that are doing tremendous things to assist veterans. But uh, this is not <laughs> new, Douglas. Harry and Meghan keep winning awards. It seems to be their full-time occupation these days. Uh, they don't... I think we shouldn't say that they win awards. They don't win them. They get gifted them by the sorts of people they hang out with. <laughs> uh, I mean, there's a whole industry of this kind of uh, rubbish. Uh, uh, you know, uh, I mean... You know, it, what happens with a lot of this is that Meghan or Harry's PR people put in calls to, to ask about various awards they can be given, and then they bring their celebrity to the awards process and everyone benefits. I mean, it's so cynical. The Tillman one, this is this is sad because he, he was a real American hero, uh, enlisted, left mm. the NFL, enlisted in the Army after 9-11 and, and, and gave his life in the defence of his country. It's a sort of reminder, of course, of what is the sad turn in Prince Harry's life, which I think, you know, is the only thing about him which is really interesting, which is that he had the opportunity to have a meaningful life uh, in which he gave his life uh, to the country and to causes like that of veterans, like that of young men who lose their way, like he did in his 20s, and can turn their life around. There was an awful lot he could have been a really meaningful figurehead for. And like his grandfather, the late Duke of Edinburgh, who set up the Duke of Edinburgh Awards, there could have been the, you know, the Prince Harry Awards of, uh, you know, that he could have done so much with his life and the position he had because of the, of the, the benefit of the birth he had. And instead, he took this other way. He took the Montecito Highway way. And here he is, not doing, but receiving awards as if he's doing. And I think there's a, I mean, it's a sort of, it's a part of the inferno that one would not want to live in. No, and uh, before you go, Douglas, you've become such a big deal these days. You've now got your own impersonators and frankly they're good ones I've got to say here is co comic army Kozak thanking uh, you as you Douglas Murray such a phenomenal job in the monk debates taking on the sophistry and deception and utter lies of Mehdi Hassan and those like him of his ilk spouting and spewing lies about Israel he nailed it. I've got to say, Arm is very good. That is, uh, we've had him on this program, not as you, as himself, but he is uh, <laughs> very good. And uh, this is this is the height of your fame now. He's normally impersonating <laughs> Donald Trump and and other uh, world figures, and, and Douglas Murray now. It's uh, it's 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 ho ho horrible in a way. He's 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 a talented impersonator. Uh, it's horrible for your <laughs> sense of self to see somebody taking you off, but he's very good at it. He actually is very amusing. A few nights ago in New York, I was in a, a, a steakhouse at, with some friends, and he came over to me and introduced himself. And, um, yeah, I, I said to my friends when I rejoined him, he's very good, but um, uh, to talk, talk about self-consciousness and self-awareness when you have somebody impersonating you in front of yourself. I, um, you know, he's very good. He's very good, but um, he uh, is yeah, very I, good. I and if you're going to have some, of... if you're going to have someone impersonating you, it's good if they're a fan. And he's certainly a fan of yours, Douglas Murray. Thank you so much for your time this evening. Thank you, Lisa.